Hello, how are you doing? The shortlist for the International Booker Prize is going to be announced on Tuesday, April 18th. I think it'll be made around late morning UK time. So if you want to keep an eye out on the Booker Prize channels, you'll find out which six books of fiction have made the cut. I know there's been a lot of speculation about it. Uh, so in the meantime, I am here with Audrey Horn <laughs> to make my own predictions. Are there any other Twin Peaks fans out there? Now, I wasn't going to make this predictions video because uh, I've only read uh, five out of the 13 long-listed books um, so far. But then uh, somebody requested it of me. Uh, I've been following lots of other people's reactions to reading all of the books on the list. It's been so great um, seeing so many people read along and discuss all of these different titles. And I thought, you know, it's all just part of the fun, uh, making my own predictions. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make my predictions of six books based on what I've read, uh, what I've read uh, about uh, people's reactions and people's reviews of all of these different books, but also partly selfishly based on what I'm most interested in reading next as, as well. So uh, to begin with, uh, I am going to predict that Boulder by Ava Baltazar um, is going to be on there. Uh, I got so wrapped up in reading this quite short uh, but very powerful novel about an individual who's very glad about being an individual but then the complications that come with getting in a relationship and then having a child and I just feel like this story gets at so many of these existential questions about the meaning of existence and looking at it from such an interesting angle and not saying one way or another whether it's better or worse to have children. Actually, that's just like a part of life that's separate from our understanding and the value we place on our own identities. So I just adored this book. I'm so eager to read her previous novel um, and also the novel that's coming after this um, since this is being written as kind of a, a trilogy uh, but just more thematically linked, uh, you know, than based on characters or story. Next, I will guess Time Shelter, uh, which I just read recently and I did have somewhat mixed feelings about. I made a whole video about uh, this this novel, um, which is so interesting in a lot of ways. It gives you so many ideas to chew over. Um, it looks at the concepts of, of memory and nostalgia um, in a really meaningful way that give me this entirely new view on the subject matters and how they relate to both our personal and political lives. Uh, but then the, the actual story and the characters, I was a bit shaky or on. So I'm not entirely sure uh, about this book, but I know there have been lots of really positive reactions to it and there's a lot of support for it out there. Is Mother Dead? I wouldn't have guessed that this would have been one of my top predictions uh, when I first started reading this novel um, because I felt somewhat ambivalent about it uh, first. But as I got into it, I was really surprised how emotionally overcome I was by both the story and the themes as it explores uh, the, the life of this adult woman who has returned to her home country and tries to make contact with the mother um, that she's been out of touch with for a really long time, um, ever since she became the black sheep of the, the family. And the, the way this novel explores um, these issues to do with our connectedness with each other or disconnectedness with our family members, uh, I just it just really struck me and right to the core and made me think um, much harder about all of these things. And uh, so yeah, I was completely drawn into this book. And finally, from the books I've read so far, and probably my absolute favorite of them is The Birthday Party, uh, which is a story which just captured me and gripped me. And I was so 
thrilled reading it and really tense, so tense reading it uh, that I just had to stay up and find out what happened. But as the book was going along, I was drawn much more into the more complex themes uh, that it was exploring with its very intricate sentences looking at these characters lives and their moment-to-moment -moment existence um, in this very rounded way so you have this understanding not only of their perspective but of their concept of time and how they're swept up in time and thoughts of the future and memories of the past and then what happens when you're just completely locked into the present because something very momentous is occurring in your life and uh, so yeah it, it is terrifying um, in a lot of ways this this story um, in the the tension that it builds uh, but and even more terrifying when you think uh, about the gulf um, between the ideologies of some of these different characters. Now, I, I, I've been glad um, that I read this early on and that I could be you know, one of the champions of this novel because I know a lot of people, they started it, they kind of DNF'd it, they couldn't really get into it, uh, but were encouraged um, by me and other people who are really enthusiastic about it to carry on. And um, some of those readers have really fell in really fell in love with this book and uh, and I'm so glad that they did um, I know other readers like still it just didn't work for them and that's fine um, that's we have different opinions about books and that's the interesting thing about reading and discussing all of the books that that we're reading but yeah personally I just found this book so incredible and I keep thinking about it now I'm gonna add to my predictions two books which I haven't read yet, but I've heard really great things about. Uh, so there's Stillborn, and I know some people will think like, oh, surely you won't have Boulder and Stillborn on the, the shortlist, because they both uh, explore issues uh, to do with parenthood uh, in a, a really in-depth way. But I'd say, why not? Um, it's, it's kind of like happened before on book prize shortlists that uh, you, you have books um, that have very similar themes. And obviously the judges felt that um, these two different titles explore this subject matter in a way which is distinct and, and unique and approaches it from different points of view. And, uh, and yeah, I've just heard so many good things about this story about uh, two women um, that grow up um, early on. Neither of them want children, but then they both get involved in parenting um, on some different 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 levels and I'm so interested to see how that is explored in this book and finally I'm gonna guess a system so magnificent it is blinding this novel is described as a joyful family saga that is about free will forgiveness and how we are all interconnected now I have heard very diverging opinions about this um, some people absolutely love this novel and then I have heard some not so good things uh, about it and to be honest that makes me even more interested in reading it it's that's the books that really divide people's opinions uh, that make me so interested in finding out what am I gonna make about this book um, so this is actually the next book that I'm gonna read I, I just finished reading another book this morning so I'm gonna start this very soon I'm really eager to see what I make about it and it's it's, it's been one of my most anticipated books from the long list. So yeah, I just want to get to it and, and make up my own mind. So these are the six books that I am predicting to see on the shortlist, but we will see on Tuesday how right or wrong I am. I might be completely wrong. It might be six other books entirely, but it's, it's just fun guessing, isn't it? Uh, so I'd love to know in the comments below uh, if you have any predictions. Have you been reading along with the long list? Do you have any favorites so far? Or are there any books from the long list that you're really eager Eager to read. Uh, I'd love to know about that. I am really eager to read all of the rest of the books on the long list, whether they're shortlisted or not, because I think they do all sound really interesting. And the winner isn't going to be announced until May 23rd, so we still have a lot of time to read and discuss all of these books. I mean, you can 
reading discuss the books outside of a prize season obviously but uh, it just makes it fun when you're following along with the prize that so many people are reading and discussing all of the same books at the same time and like i said it's been so interesting seeing everyone's different responses to these books you get so many different points of view and opinions about books and ways of thinking about them that i wouldn't have realized if i was just sitting here reading them all on my own uh, so yeah I'd, I'd love to hear in the comments below what you've been reading and i look forward to seeing more people's reactions and seeing what is on the actual shortlist on tuesday uh, so thank you for watching i'll speak to you again soon. Bye-bye.